So we decided to ditch the car and go back to our old school roots of backpacking, literally. And when I say backpacking, I don't mean having a backpack, sticking it in the back of the car and then driving all over the place. Actually, backpacking. For the next five days, we're gonna rely on nothing but intercity. Our end destination today is gonna be Tianao. We had to transfer buses in Gore and the bus from Dunedin to Gore was running a bit late. But luckily, the bus driver didn't drive off without us. He waited for us. We're hungry, we haven't had supper yet, so we're gonna go cook some food and uh, figure out how we're gonna get to Manapuri tomorrow. And Manapuri is where the, um, the excursion for the Doubtful Sounds overnight cruise leaves. Hopefully, we can meet someone, maybe some other backpackers that might be driving down. We will drive them with these chocolates. And if that works, then uh, that takes care of that. Otherwise, we'll have to figure something out. Day two in Tianao. We need to get to Manapuri. It's about 20 kilometers from this town. And like I mentioned yesterday, we don't have a way to get there, so we're gonna try our luck at hitchhiking. It seems that there are some cars turning at that junction over there. So I'm gonna stick my thumb out, and hopefully, us being a couple, we look more attractive and less threatening. Someone will stop and pick us up and give us a lift to Manapuri. Fingers crossed. There's actually quite a bit of traffic turning off this junction here onto the 95 highway, so that's pretty promising. Uh, maybe we should stand on that side. I think that's a good spot. So while the cars are turning, they could see us. Hopefully, could get a ride to Manapuri. Imagine if I was just a guy and I had a really long beard and I looked like I hadn't showered for like, you know, a week. It must be tough. And I have Ling with me and cars are still driving by. We met this uh, guy that was hitchhiking around uh, New Zealand and he told me that when he was hitchhiking by himself, so he's like this uh, mid 20 something German guy, good looking fella. It would take him maybe an hour, two hours to get a ride. And then he met this uh, this blonde girl and they, they hooked up. And since then, 10, 15 minute, minutes when they're together. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, awesome, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Cool, cool. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> how you going? Hi, how you doing? Good, good. <laughs> I guess for years. Oh, oh really? really? I figured this would be a good place because this road just basically leads to the of glory. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Have no a problem. Enjoy. Yeah, thank oh, yeah. you. Thanks again and okay. enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye. Bye now. Bye. That has to be a record. We got picked up in four minutes. Love you. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. It was so nice and they were like, oh, well, we could hang out all day. So it was a nice Auckland couple. They were here um, just on vacation. They had a full day to fill up and they were just kind of driving around and uh, didn't really have anything to do. So they picked us up. And they really were like, cool. do you guys have any plans? Do you want to go somewhere else? And I had my cafe. So hitchhiking was a huge success. And then uh, then we gave them uh, a little peanut slab, Whit Whitaker's chocolate bar. As Which a, they tried to refuse. It was a token of our appreciation. We're Tuesday right now. We're heading back to Tianao Thursday. Imagine they pick us up again. Imagine we're on the side of the road here in Manipuri and then the couple drives by. That would be awesome. Kiwis are just so... There's this level of hospitality that doesn't quite compare with any other country in the world. I read on a backpacker board that this guy got picked up. The person had to stop and pick up some gas. And the, the driver who picked up the hitchhiker actually left the car <laughs> to go inside to pay with the engine running and the keys, <laughs> trusting this hitchhiker wouldn't steal the car. <laughs> That's, that's New Zealand. It's a whole other world here. And, and I said it in my how to travel New Zealand with no money video. If you had to pick anywhere in the world to hitchhike, it would be New Zealand, 100%. The chances of any incident or danger is low, very low. You know what the best part of that was? We just saved ourselves $36 in bus fees. 
And instead, what did we do? We, we bought a chocolate bar for $1.89. <laughs> Whitaker's chocolate, baby. You know, as a token of your appreciation, depending on the drive, of course, maybe you want to offer money when you fill up on gas. This was a 18 minute drive. They didn't want to take anything from us. Uh, they almost didn't want to take the chocolate. Kiwis love the Whitaker's chocolate. Unless yeah. they're diabetic. She was like, oh, thank you. You made such a good choice with the peanut slab. The air feels colder here in Manapuri. We're making our way to a, a beach or some, of some sorts. Oh, it's chilly already. It's gonna be even colder on the boat. Oh, 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 oh. That took you 10 seconds. So? <laughs> to find your other sleeve. That took me longer than it took us to get a hitchhike ride. Honestly, I was like kind of worried that they would say that they, oh yeah, we're gonna be doing the cruise tomorrow. Fuck, now we're gonna see you on the boat. <laughs> such a bum town that there isn't a single grocery store. There's maybe two places, cafes that you can grab some food and a beer. But other than that, there's nothing. It's a town of links at 300. It's, it's not even considered a town, it's a settlement. That's how, how small it is. You know the town is really small when they won't even build a four square here. But we got our groceries here, picked it up in Tianao before leaving. It's just motels, two cafes, a gas and station a rock. and a pretty rock there it is the Manipuri Lakeview motor in that's where we're staying it's almost 11 a bit early for check-in here we are this feels like a ghost town all right it looks dark in there mm. it is open exceptions closed it really feels like the zombie apocalypse It is dead in here. There's nobody here. Not a living soul. We have not passed a single living, breathing human. Okay, so they said uh, if no one's at the reception to come to the cafe, so. <laughs> Maybe this door is open. There's nobody here. I guess we'll just have to hang out for a bit. I brought my book. So the trading hours of the cafe and bar start at 3 p.m. So hopefully someone shows up at reception before that. We got uh, four hours. <laughs> Until then. Just checked in. Nice early check-in. We're all checked in. Cool, so we can uh, drop our stuff off. Second home for the night. Ooh, oh, tea. there's a toilet. I, yeah, thought it was shared, I thought it was shared bathroom. Maybe can you know. believe it? We have an actual toilet in the room. Well, towels, TV, frigidaire. We have chocolate and coffee. What's the old style toilet? Oh. I was expecting like one of those dangly chain things that you had to pull. Good find, Lynn. Got a nice view of Lake Manapuri. Very nice. Nice place. Who did America buy Alaska from? Russia. Russia. Is it Russia? Or Canada. The answer is Russia. Oh, 1867. Wow. 